Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today it's Glove Day. Well, I have a special video for you that is a coin grading video. Lots to talk about. We're going to try to get this straight. Um, going to be kind of difficult, but uh, we'll see if I can get the film work done here. I got this old group of U.S. commemoratives in, and uh, the older U.S. commemoratives are among my all-time favorite uh, U.S. coins, just because of the variety. And uh, this here, the Connecticut, is is really... For me, kind of almost like the pinnacle, not pinnacle, that's different. It is uh, definitely something that I like the uh, stylized eagle on. And, you know, if you get this thing to be like a choice BU coin, the Charter Oak really just shimmers. So what we're going to talk about today, and I'll see if I can get this for you, is basically on these four coins... I think we've got cleaning on, let me see, we're gonna, we're gonna call this seven out of eight sides, maybe six. Let me, let's take a closer look and see. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can in any way, let's see if dimming the lights helps a little bit on this one. Well, uh, we might have to bring them back up. We'll take a look, see, and try to figure out what we're looking at. I'll try to explain what I'm seeing here. One of the things to note on these is the fact that they all have a little bit of toning around the edges. You may have noticed that right away. Um, maybe not. Let me see here. Actually, I'm going the opposite direction. I'm going with more bright today to try to show you what I'm getting at. Uh, so you can see they all had this like different shades of toning on them. And from there, when you look at the coins, they all have quite a bit of luster. These guys are basically all in brand new condition. I'm going to go ahead and show you the third side of the coin, which always matters. Uh, we tend to forget about it. I forget about it. But, you know, these are nice brand new uncirculated coins from the mint, bought as a commemorative, kept as a commemorative, put into holders, and then naturally toning over time. And that natural toning is what a lot of us modern collectors like, and yet... Here we are with coins that somebody said, you know what, I don't like this. So it actually has, so there's some PVC on there, some stuff that actually you would want to get off today. Uh, and then you have these the remnants of the rest of this toning that was a little bit more of a nice traditional darker toning. And I'm going to get my pointer out here. We'll talk about where the luster is and where the luster ain't. And ain't ain't a word, and I ain't going to use it. So... This is tricky because you can see all the luster that flows here. So when I talk about luster, what I'm talking about is this, this, uh, the light reflection coming through this whole area here. And it's not super bold. It's very bright here. But in this area, as it turns, you can see how it's not as bright as it could be. And then this one has a pretty strong telltale sign of cleaning when you get it at the right angle. So we shall see if we can get it at the right angle because this one was basically wiped. Okay, so at this angle here, you start to see these are fine lines. Have you ever have you ever cleaned your glasses before? And I mean, just like took the cloth and put it on there, and sometimes it cleans well if you have the right, uh, if your cloth is fresh and you got some, you know, the right spray to put on it, but other times it just leaves these streaks. Well, the, see how it's a streak? This This whole thing has just one giant streak across it. And so what's tricky about a coin like this is because it was brand new uncirculated and they wiped it, you know, you, it really will deceive a lot of people. And this is going to go true for the Charter Oak side too. And as some of you have watched enough videos to know that sometimes you just want to get that coin at the right angle and it goes a little bit darker. But even this, you see actually it has almost the opposite effect where you see how the oak tree turns completely white. That's all from those hairlines, super fine hairlines. See if I can get any of them with a stronger loop. But that's that whiteness is actually from it getting wiped. And we'll see if we can actually capture some of that. Also very tricky, you look up close and you see, oh, look at all, there's there's a, you know, actual dye polish on there. Like that looks very original. And yet, um, let me see if we can get the lines. The lines themselves aren't really popping up at that angle. I can see them in the field here when I tilt it again, especially in this area. You start seeing the lines popping across, straight across, and those lines are from cleaning. 
Let's see if we can capture a couple other of these here. Um, you've got the beaver also, a uh, coin with quite a bit of toning to it. And the difficulty with all of these coins is each one has a completely different luster pattern and palette, if you will. Uh, surface quality finish, all that stuff, right? Uh, I'm trying to remember if I've got, uh, I, might, I might actually have two sides that aren't cleaned now that I'm looking at it. And I think what they did was anywhere where they had a lot of toning, they cleaned. So you can see this had a lot of toning. Let's see if you can catch the difference between the luster from this side and from the other side, right? So uh, this has nice open fields, so this helps. Now, do you see the difference in luster here? So what we're looking at is just all of that whiteness, that light reflectivity. Look at how it's complete in this area. Remember on that other coin how incomplete it was? You still saw it, but it was just very thin or sparse. So this coin, this side of this coin here, uh, the Lynchburg is original, and yet this side here, let take a look here and see what you can see. I'm looking at the same area. Now, do you see how at this angle it's, you know, you can see the luster is here, but then all of a sudden it's not here. And so what happens is when somebody wipes something, the devices, so the lettering, protects the luster, the fields get obliterated, the high points get obliterated, so that so that you can see how nice the luster was through here, and then as you turn it, and this luster is very faint. That's because what they've done is they've removed the top surface of the luster. And angles are important because, of course, if you go like, you just go to the blinding angle and you're like, oh, look, that's luster. Well, no, that's just a hubcap. That's just a straight... That is, yeah, don't look at coins in the sunlight. Have I mentioned that before? Do not look at coins in the sunlight, folks. That's not a good grading tool. And depending on which way they wiped, you'll also get those telltale lines. So like on this particular coin, once again, because they wiped over the surface, the high points here, these have, you know, the whole, the whole uh, face turns a little bit white, but also you'll start to see some of those fine lines moving across the field. You know, and when I say it's tricky, I mean, well, it's tricky to film, but even to see because, you know, I had it a second ago and now, it, you know, I'm trying to find that right angle just so I can show you guys. So here we go. The reverse of that Lynchburg is really very nice. And some of the things that, that uh, you know, I want you to be able to know in C has to do with, of course, seeing coins in person, but then also there's a thing called photography. So if you're buying coins on eBay, what are you seeing? What do you see through the photograph? And that can be pretty, pretty hard. Uh, you know, people, unfortunately, on eBay can be deceptive. There's plenty of fine sellers on eBay. But also, if you're buying raw coins, you know, you just got to be a little bit on the careful side. All right, let's get back to our prodigious friend here. This guy, he's all over the place. Did you know that Beaver actually was native to Arizona? I know it doesn't sound like it. Uh, that is actually not a joke. At the Desert Museum in Tucson, they always had beavers on display. All right, so right again here, what I want you to look at, look at the uh, the suit on the left here. Look at these lines popping up. You see this? As I turn it, see how that line becomes completely horizontal? It, that's from a cleaning that's from somebody wiping over the surface. And once again, a coin like this has a lot of design elements, so that can help protect the luster throughout here and maybe in some of the smaller details there. But once it goes over the surface top, it's just going to like speed bumps, boom, boom, and you're going to leave those lines. So it's just like anything else that gets rubbed. There it is, that same look you'd see when you smear your, your eyeglasses. Some of you folk are just like eyeglasses, Ben. You know, this isn't the 1800s. I know, I know. All right. Well, some of us wear glasses still. Uh, the, the beaver side's a little bit more deceptive because I think that it was not as heavily polished. I think it had some lighter toning. But even then, you're seeing at certain angles, it just loses its luster. But, uh, you know, I think that if it was just grading the side of the coin, um, you know, it's, it's very close to, quote-unquote, not being cleaned, if you will. 
I still think they wiped it like the top of the beaver is just too shiny. And here are your hairlines with micro with magnification. You can see uh, the hairlines there over the top of the leg portion into the body. You can see hairlines that are dancing across it just a little bit. They're pretty faint. They're pretty faint. All right, what didn't we do here? I'm feel, feeling like we need to look over here at um, the Delaware. It's so hard to say Delaware without breaking out in song. This one's interesting also because, yeah, I think this this only has one side of the coin that's been wiped, and the wiping isn't too heavy. But once again, you can get, you guys can tell me, I'm just going to turn the coin a couple times, and I will tell you that I believe that one side of this coin has been wiped, but the other side was left original. And you guys can tell me what you think, which is which. So you're starting to pick up on some of the high points and some of the things, uh, you know, do the high points, does the luster move in kind of almost a circular fashion or does all of a sudden it jut across at some sharp angle? So that is kind of like the last clue here. I will tell you that the uh, the schoolhouse side here, um, I say schoolhouse, is that a church? This is me not knowing my commemoratives. Uh, what did Delaware boys? So this side I believe to be original as far as cleaning goes. They didn't have a lot of toning to it, so they just left alone. This side, you can tell, had some toning to it, but also this side is wiped. You can see at this angle that the luster goes just kind of dark. And then also as you turn it, eventually you'll catch glimpses of uh, the sails just kind of having more of a flat reflectivity instead of having the luster continue across. And here again, you can kind of see how that luster continues across the top of the schoolhouse in a, in a safe fashion. There it is. So uh, three quarters of the sides of these coins were cleaned. And anyways, leave your comments below. I hope that helps a little bit. Uh, be careful on eBay out there. You're buying raw coins. You know, you can send a picture. Both these coins look beautiful uh, on, on a picture, but you know, kind of try to get used to seeing stuff that looks too shiny because too shiny is a bad thing for the coin collector. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I've been the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.